whilst the big uh, conference at copenhagen was underway last month complete with politicians ngos and activists there was another climate conference going on in the same city where most of the speakers were scientists and i believe that i was the only mep present these scientists one by one demolished the so-called facts about man-made global warming with scientific argument as opposed to alarmist soundbite we heard about the technical failures of al gore's hockey stick graph and the unreliability of weather station data after the fall of the berlin wall we were advised on the scientific shortcomings of the computer models that are reluctant to predict cold weather and the probability of the opposite relationship between carbon dioxide and global temperatures to the one that we're being brainwashed with we were shown satellite photographs of the rapid increase in arctic ice over the last 3 years and we were briefed on the increase in the numbers of polar bears Mr. Bloom, for one and a half minutes, please. Well, Mr. President, of course, uh, you can tell I'm a scarecrow because I don't dress like a scarecrow. Uh, I fought my way through the blizzard in Copenhagen, like many of you did. Uh, interesting, isn't it, that we've had the coldest winter so far on record in London for 30 years. It's the same in Poland. It's the same in uh, Korea. It's the same in China. Uh, we've had the coldest temperatures in Florida, Arizona, Texas. The first snow in Texas, I think, for a hundred years. And of course, as Charles Corrin of the London Times said, my good. Goodness me, my goodness me, Un we simply don't get it, of course, of course, that's what global warming is all about. We've got to get used to freezing temperatures. Well, we've seen the Al Gore hockey stick, which is still, I gather, being so shown in London uh, uh, state schools, Al Gore, snake oil salesman, crook. We've seen Professor Jones from the East Anglia University, crook. And now, you won't know about this yet because it's been kept out of the public domain, the New Zealand National Climate Database, and I have the figures here, all fraudulent. When are you all going to wake up? Scam, scam, scam. To find out more about who we are and what we stand for, go to the UK Independence Party website at www.ukip.org.